Mm, that she is. Wait, what? And, uh, and she's size, blah, 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 set of three triplets, obviously, because they're triplets. What, Jan? <sighs> three triplets. Oh, my God. <sighs> Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with my most anticipated September reads for 2016. I have a total of six books. I'm hoping that I chose books that not a lot of people have heard about as usual because nobody wants to hear the same seven books over and over again. There is, I believe, one or two that are kind of popular. You know, it's gonna happen, but I tried to pick lesser known books, so. Without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> So the first book that I am anticipating is called Our Chemical Hearts, and this is by Crystal Sutherland, and it's supposed to come out September 6, 2016. This book follows Henry Page, who desperately wants to be in love, even though it has never happened for him, and then he meets a girl named Grace Town, and everything changes. Now, Grace isn't exactly who Henry had in mind when he pictured his perfect girl. She walks with a cane, she wears boys' oversized shirts, and she rarely showers, but something about Grace really appeals to Henry, and he wants nothing more than to help put her broken pieces back together again. It's kind of got the vibe of the whole Fault in Our Stars thing, which I enjoyed, so I'm kind of interested in the book. And also, I just really like the cover and the fish. I think they're really cool, so I want to read this book. So eventually, maybe it'll happen, but we know Jay. She reads books, like, three years later, so we'll see. The next book that I'm anticipating for September is called The Forgetting. This is by Sharon Cameron and it is supposed to come out September 13th, 2016. In the city of Cannon, where Nadia lives, everything is very safe and structured. Every 12 years, something occurs called The Forgetting. The Forgetting is a day of bloody chaos where basically everybody's memories is wiped unless somebody has written down their story. In Cannon, your book is the truth of your identity and only Nadia knows what is true and what isn't because she has never forgotten anything. When Nadia begins to use her memories to solve the mysteries of canon and also help her get the handsome glass blower named Grey, things start to escalate. Nadia and Grey need to work together quickly to stop an unseen villain from taking over canon and it just sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like it will be thrilling and there's going to be a little bit of danger in it, which is right up my alley, so I'm very excited for this one. The third book I'm excited for is called Kids of Appetite and this is by David Arnold and it's supposed to come out September 20th, 2016. Victor and Madeline have a story to tell. It starts with the death of Vic's father and the murder of Mad's uncle. The police want to hear this story, but in order to get the full picture and story, Mad and Vic need to tell all the chapters in between. Sounds like a cute little YA book. And I haven't read YA in a while. I've been on like a thriller fantasy-ish kind of kick, so excited to see what I think of this one. Next is Three Dark Crowns, and this is by Kendra Blake, and it also comes out September 20th, 2016. Every generation on an island, there is a set of triplets born. This set of triplets is the heir to the throne of this island. Each queen or sister is able to use some form of magic. Mirabella has the ability to control the elements. Catherine is a poisoner and she is able to ingest poison without getting sick at all. And Arsino is a naturalist and she is able to make any flower bloom or tame any animal. When the queens turn 16, the battle begins and it is a fight to the death to see which queen will be the true heir to the throne. It just sounds like it will be so cool. The covers are gorgeous. There's like a set of three. You can either get the, the elemental, the poisoner, or the naturalist cover. Personally, the poisoner is my favorite. I think it is gorgeous. And I'm just so excited for this book. This I might actually end up buying because I just, I want it because it's pretty. And the story also sounds cool too. So like, I mean, that helps, but I need it. The next book is called The Vanishing Year, and it is by Kate Moriarty, and it comes out September 27th, 2016. This book follows Zoe Whittaker, and she is the beautiful young wife of the handsome Wall Street tycoon, Henry Whittaker. Basically living the perfect life. She is a social elite in Manhattan. She lives in a beautiful penthouse. She also owns a lake house. 
But what no one knows is that five years ago, when Zoe wasn't named Zoe, her life was in great danger. Now, years later, when Zoe's secrets are coming back to haunt her, she needs to decide who she is able to trust before it's too late. Can we just take in how cool that sounds? Your girl loves her thrillers, your girl is super excited about this book, and I need it in my life because I need a good thriller this month. I need a good thriller. And the final book that I am anticipating for the month of September is called The Woman in the Walls, and this is by Anne Lukovic. I'm probably saying that wrong. Sorry. But this comes out on September 27th as well. Lucy Acosta's mother died when she was three, and she has always lived in this mansion with her distant father and cousin Margaret. When Lucy's aunt Penelope disappears while walking around the woods in their estate, Lucy finds herself alone. Margaret has been spending all her time in the attic, claiming that her mom is talking to her through the wall. Lucy watches as her cousin's sanity slowly slips away until she begins hearing the voices through the walls as well. Oh my god, I need this book. Does that not just sound so cool? Like, psychological thrillers are my shit and I need it. I entered for it in a Goodreads giveaway and I didn't win and I was so bummed out and now I need it so badly I might actually go to chapters and buy this in three dark crowns, but we'll see if your girl's gonna spend her money because we all know your girl don't like spending her money. Alright guys, so that was my most anticipated reads for the month of September 2016. I hope I found some books that a lot of people haven't heard about. I know you probably heard of Three Dark Crowns, but maybe the other ones? I don't know. I'm sorry if none of these are new to you. I tried, but these are the ones I'm excited for, so sorry, not sorry. I will see all you lovely lemon drops in my next video. Goodbye!